Are you a professional wrestling fan? Are you a fan of collectibles? Are you a fan of pro wrestling collectibles? If so, you need to head on over right now to Slow Poke Toys and Collectibles online at slowpoketoys.com for the coolest, coolest pro wrestling collectibles on the market today. If you're a fan of independent wrestling, uh, you could get this really cool sticker. I love the indie wrestling. You could get this cool sticker as well. Support local independent wrestling. There's really cool pins as well this broken kendo stick pin uh there's this broken table pin as well uh you have the folded chair as well uh really cool stuff if you want sticker sheets uh they have sticker sheets um as well at slow poke toys and collectibles at slowpoketoys.com check them out they have really cool stuff and they are adding items all the time so you're going to want to follow them on social media twitter instagram facebook at slow poke toys that's Throughout their, all of social media, it's at Slowpoke Toys. So follow them on Instagram, follow them on Twitter, follow them on Facebook. Again, at Slowpoke Toys because they're adding items all the time. You don't want to miss out. The holiday season is right around the corner. And uh, you're going to want to get to all your professional wrestling friends um, some of these really, really cool items from Slowpoke Toys and Collectibles. Once again, it's slowpoketoys.com and all across social media at Slowpoke Toys. Check them out today. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. We're heard right here on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're watching for the first time, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you want to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at Shooting Up North, Instagram at Alliance PW Network. And feel free to join our Facebook group, the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Okay, so this is Impact Wrestling News, Notes, and Opinions for September 13th, 2022. Let's get into it. I have a few things to talk about. First, uh, Tommy Dreamer says Scott Demore uh, has stated that he wants to get Taylor Wild back on the field in Impact Wrestling. Getting this from Post Wrestling uh, says Demore and Dreamer are eager for Taylor Wild's return. It's been a full year since Taylor Wild wrestled uh, for Impact Wrestling. She has been away. For from the company as she has been tending to personal matters. She's still under contract with Impact and was the most recent guest to join Tommy Dreamer on the House of Hardcore podcast. Tella mentioned that she ran into <clears throat> Scott Demore at an independent show in Canada. Uh, and after they conversed, uh, Demore had a chat with Dreamer and Dreamer shared, shared a bit of that conversation. Uh, Demore said that they have to get Wild back on the field in Impact Wrestling, and Tommy Dreamer is hoping that happens very soon. Um, it says the beginning of Taylor and Tommy's friendship um, was dove into. Uh, Wild credited Dreamer for giving her uh, her first break in pro wrestling, and uh, Wild uh, was in WWE's then developmental territory, Deep. Um, Deep South Wrestling. Uh, so uh, Scott Demore wants Taylor Wilde back, and it seems like Taylor Wilde um, wants to come back. Uh, wants to come back uh, to um, here. Actually, this is a quote. Um, I'm not going to read everything here, uh, but it's uh, Tommy Dreamer says it's funny you mentioned that uh, uh, that show you just saw Scott Demore at because from that show I talked to him and he was like, "Yes, um, seen. Um, we have to get her back on the field." Speaking about Taylor Wilde. And I was like, yes, we do. Uh, and um, tell, Dreamer says, uh, there's a huge quote here. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Uh, but Taylor Wilde um, kind of responded, oh, thank you. Really, I'm so excited. It's been a year. And, you know, it was hard because I've had the, the this big comeback after 10 years of being inactive and then COVID and divorce and life. And thank God for uh, my Impact Wrestling family, truthfully. So it seems like Scott Demore wants Taylor Wilde back. Taylor Wilde seems like she wants to come back. My question is, what's the hold up? <laughs> right what's the hold up let's get it done let's bring taylor wild back um back on the field as scott demore said uh into into into, 
into Impact Wrestling. Um, I, I'd be all for it. I, I like Taylor Wild. I think she's very talented. I think she would fit in nicely. Um, maybe Taylor Wild could be um, one of the opponents for Mickey James. Uh, that would be very interesting. Uh, but again, it seems uh, Scott Demore wants it back. Taylor Wild wants it back. What's the holdup? Let's get it done. Let's get it done right now. Okay, so um, I'm sure we're going to see Taylor Wild back um, in Impact Wrestling very, uh, very soon. Um, Mike Bennett. This is interesting. Cultaholic, Mike Bennett, Mike Bennett, one half of the Impact Wrestling Tag Team Champions, uh, states that he would love a WWE return. He says a former WWE star is open to a return. So why do they say former WWE star and not current Impact Wrestling star? But but anyway, let's let's move on. Uh, says Mike Bennett, um, formerly known as Mike Canales, previously performed in WWE alongside wife Maria, uh, but they were primarily utilized as an undercard act and were eventually released in April of 2020 after four years with the company. Uh, despite his poor experience, Bennett told Cultaholic, Cultaholic Wrestling's Tom Campbell that he has unfinished business in the WWE. A quote from Bennett, I feel and I don't know what anyone else feels, but I don't really care because it's my life and what I want to do. I feel like I have unfinished business there. My dream was to be a WWE wrestler. That dream doesn't go away just because you have a lousy experience with one guy. It just doesn't. Uh, I'm assuming he's talking about Vince McMahon. You you still always have that itch to uh, you always still have that itch in the back of your head. Uh, Bennett said on the de uh, desert uh, island graps. Um, says uh, the miracle did make sure to note that he is happy in impact okay so he did note that he is happy in impact wrestling where he's one half of the impact wrestling world tag team champions with matt taven says he's thankful for what scott Demore has done for for his family uh but he's so thankful that that he just wants to get back to the wwe <laughs> he's so thankful for what scott Demore has done for his family that uh, he wants to just get back to the wwe um as fast as he can right so <laughs> No, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, um, I'm sure he's sincere. I'm sure he's sincere. Uh, but he said he admitted that he would love to work for WWE's Triple H and and AEW. So yeah, he'd be he'd be more. He would love to work with WWE and AEW. So there you go. So he's uh, he's so thankful to Scott Demore that uh, the very next uh, sentence is that uh, he he admitted he would love to work for WWE and AEW. Okay, but but he's thankful. He's thankful to Scott Demore. Okay, the, my thing is, my thing is, um, well, let me let me let me read a little bit further. There's there's more here about Impact Wrestling uh, from Mike Bennett. Mike Bennett says that there there is always there is always where wrestling goes, and you have to look at it from a business standpoint. I have a family to take care of, and bills to pay, and a mortgage to pay. I have dreams that exceed Impact Wrestling. Okay, so that's I saw the word Impact Wrestling. So he has dreams that exceed Impact Wrestling. Um, and if Triple H were to call, I would give him a time of day because, like I said, I love working for him. He uh, said, I would will, I will love to work. He said, I would love to work for Triple H. I would love to work for Tony Khan. And I love working for Scott Demore. And But I really want to go back to Japan. That's my first step, man. And, I, and, he, and, he, and he says it one more time that he would really love to work with Triple H. Okay. My thing is, my thing is, if um, if you're working for a company and you're their champion, don't come out and say, you know what, I would love to work for the, for for another company. Uh, granted, uh, let's not let's not pretend. Let's not pretend. Let's not um, uh, working for the WWE is 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 um, you, you make a lot more money in the WWE than you make in Impact Wrestling. There's a lot more. Uh, there's a lot more nor notoriety uh, working for the WWE. And impact wrestling. Let's um we, we all know that. We all know that. We all know if uh if I'm working for um if I'm working for um for a compact or a compact computer company or a Lenovo and Apple calls, you know, I'm gonna run to Apple. Okay. But if if I were to say like if I'm working for Lenovo and I and I openly say, oh, I would I you know what I don't want to I would like to work for Apple, not Lenovo. Uh, I have dreams that exceed Lenovo. Then you know the CEO of the of Lenovo might not be too happy. Uh, he and he might um, he might even let me go. He'll call me into his office, talk to me, and I might uh, I might lose my job. So Mike Bennett is the Impact Wrestling World uh, Tag Team Champion, one half of the Tag Team Champions. Um, 
just won the title. They put the title on him and uh, says um, he's thankful for Scott Demore, but he really wants to work for the WWE. So I, I, I'm just not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of if you're working for one company uh, to say that you really wish you could work for another company. Well, he's not under contract, of course. So um, he could actually, I mean, if, if Triple H called him today and said, uh, I'd like you back. Uh, he could well I don't know maybe he's on a, like a short term deal with Impact, but technically he could if he's not he could just leave and go back to the WWE. He also said he would love to work for Tony Khan too, so he could go to AEW. He could go to the WWE while he's one half of the tag team champions in Impact Wrestling. You know, so um, that's why just just not a fan. I mean, if if you're working for a company, you know, you're working for a company, don't publicly say that. Uh, hey, I'm working here, but you know. I have dreams that exceed working here. I want to go work over there. So that's that's just my feeling on him. The people may feel differently than me, but that's that's how I feel on it. Uh, last but not least, Brian Myers reveals when he's going to cons- when he'll consider no longer wrestling. Uh, Impact Wrestling Digital Media Champion Brian Myers might have a lot on his mind at the moment. Uh, but his wrestling legacy is not among the focal points of his attention. Um, it's something I'm thinking about. Now, now um, actually, um, uh, I was going to say, Brian Myers does have an independent promotion that uh, he runs out of out of um, New York. I think I forgot. It's, um, it's out of Long Island, Long Island, New York. Uh, he has an independent uh, promotion. And if you're a fan of independent wrestling, if you're a fan of independent wrestling, uh, you might want to... Um, let everybody know uh, by getting uh, some of these cool stickers here. Uh, support your local independent wrestling. I love indie wrestling. Uh, indie wrestling, very, very important. Uh, I'm a big fan of independent wrestling. And if you're a fan of independent wrestling, uh, you might want to um, you know, head on over to slowpoketoys.com uh, where you can pick up some of these really cool stickers. And there's a lot of other merchandise at slowpoketoys. Uh, There are pins, there are magnets, and there's a whole bunch of other items that are on the website. If you're a professional wrestling fan, if you're a professional wrestling uh, collectible fan, you're going to love Slowpoke Toys and Collectibles. Again, slowpoketoys.com and uh, follow them across social media at Slowpoke Toys. Follow them on Instagram, follow them on Facebook, follow them on Twitter at Slowpoke Toys uh, because they are adding stuff all the time. New items are coming all the time. New items are gonna, new items are going to be added and you don't want to miss out. So you're going to want to follow them on social media again, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at Slowpoke Toys. Okay, so back to uh, Brian Myers. Um, so, uh, he talking about, um, when he might want to retire, uh, I said, it's not something I'm thinking about. He said during an appearance, uh, you know, my, my five-year-old daughter just started taking interest in wrestling, uh, where she previously had it uh, all. Uh, so she's been asking me so many questions. And then one of them, uh, asked me recently, um, and it was like, uh, when am I going to stop wrestling? And I told her, I don't really want to stop until I'm at least 50. Uh, he's 37 now. Uh, so Brian Myers, um, is going to be wrestling. He's going to be wrestling until about 50 years old. So that's, um, and hopefully he'll be with impact wrestling for the next 13 years. Uh, so again, um, Brian Myers, um, says he's not going to stop until he's um, at least 50, maybe even after 50. Uh, but uh, as of right now, it seems like he's going to retire at the age age of 50 okay so we'll leave it at that for now anything else breaks i'll be back but until then thank you very much take care bye bye stay safe everyone this uh, i gotta I, I didn't close properly gotta close the right way this is impact wrestling news notes and opinions for september 13th 2022 i'm lewis carlin take care bye bye stay safe everyone so long bye bye